Tonight's special segment, Financial Forgiveness, a mission to help veterans bogged down with student loans despite having served their country. ABC 7's Cheryl Burton joining us tonight with the story of men who recognize the need and want to help. Well, Kathy and Ron, tomorrow is the observance of Veterans Day, so this story is timely. For some service members, a big motivator for joining the military is to get help paying for college. But many say that help is not enough. Now two Chicago soldiers are on a mission to fill in that gap. Their group is less than a year old, and it has helped only a couple of veterans so far. But the Southsiders who started it are determined to give troops financial forgiveness. We got some tips that they might be selling drugs in some section here. Hockey Gherkin is a tactical officer in the Chicago Police Department's 23rd District. He suits up daily to fight gangs and drugs. But not long ago, he suited up for a different war. I joined the Navy Reserves in 2002. Basically, I was uh, inspired by the events of 9-11. Gherkin has served in Iraq, Afghanistan, and Turkey. He is still on active duty and could be deployed again before next summer. In the middle of it all, he says one of his biggest concerns was paying off student loans. My mother was uh, going through chemotherapy, and uh, just with the stress of uh, another deployment and with her battling cancer, you know, the student loan it was just another thing. Relief came through another soldier who he met while in Iraq. After leaving active duty, Eli Williamson teamed up with his childhood friend, Roy Brown, to form a nonprofit organization called Leave No Veteran Behind. The organization uses donated money to pay off veterans' outstanding student loans. The Southsiders joined the Army Reserves together to help pay for college. After graduating, they both experienced the gaps left in the military's education payment plan. Brown still owes about $60,000 in college loans. Here I am dodging bullets and worrying about, you know, IEDs, and I have a loan company that is uh, calling me and s steadily uh, harassing my mother about a student loan payment. I still owe uh, upwards of almost $70,000 worth of educational debt that the new GI Bill does not take care of because it does not work retroactively. Though the organization is less than a year old, hundreds of troops have already signed up. Now, Brown and Williamson have to raise enough money to help them. In exchange for debt forgiveness, the veterans must commit to 100 hours of community service. Gherkin volunteers in the Bronzeville neighborhood, providing adult presence and safe passage for CPS students leaving school. Organizers say getting vets to do community service is easy. Most are already active. The hard part is convincing the public that this is an area of need, an outlet where they can actually serve the veterans. There's always the assumption being made that because you're a veteran, you automatically get access to a free education. But that's not necessarily the case. Since both of the organizers are graduates of Chicago Public Schools, they steer much of their community service efforts toward CPS. They also point out that this is just one issue that veterans face, and they hope more people will take an interest in veterans' causes. For more information, mm -hmm. you can go to our website at abc7chicago.com. And tonight, a lot of chatter on Facebook and advice from people wanting to help. Right. Sure. Yeah. Thanks, Cheryl.